Okay, now that um, I have some fuel, um, we'll jump to the other ex uh, side of this, uh, the extreme side, I guess, if you will, of how we use the warm audio gear. Coming from such a beautiful uh, hypnotic kind of song like Cactus Flower to uh, a song called I Am John 5. This one is, um, this incorporates a lot of different things. We've got some modulated uh, synths on here, uh, we have some talk box on here, we've got laser samples, we've got crowd screaming, we've got all these different things going on. Um, so. We'll just dive right in. So the you know the intro of this song again, just a simple modulated uh, synth thing going on. We got a talk box done through the '73. A little bit of warmth to the tube, and then these crushing guitars. So, like we were, we were talking about earlier, that was a combination of a few different uh, layers of guitars um, using uh, the Friedman amp uh, on one side, using a Marshall on the other side, uh, John using his um, the Goldie, you know, his main his main gold Telecaster, and his kill switch. So all that stuff that's going on is him with his left hand and a kill switch. There's no strumming or anything going on. So track those through those amps through the 73s uh no eqs on those this time but definitely with the uh with the, with the tone button engaged um through vintage 30s and a single sn57 and of course we doubled them on each side and then took those and uh sent them off into an, an aux track with uh, a rat on there just distorting the crap out of it and so you know I mean here those guitars are soloed <laughs> so as you can tell much much different than cactus flower and if I bring in the other guitars here how they layer a little bit later in the song <laughs> Just thick chaos, and then um, when we get up here into you know this this bass guitar sound. So what that what that is is uh, Ian Ross. Uh, he, he primarily uses a Mark head, so we, we use that going in, split off into um, a, a direct channel that was regular, later reamped into Plexi guitar amp. Again, with the with the seventy three to give it that uh, that distortion underneath there. And then in the context of the song. Just an angry, angry part. So one of the cool things about this song is the different things that just kind of come out of nowhere. So if we were to jump in here at the end of one of the solos. The slap guitar part.
So you can hear that one. We actually uh, we actually did use a 57 and a 121 on that. Um, again, both through the 73. However, uh, one of those was driven pretty hard uh, on the left side, so you'll hear it uh, breaking up a little bit more. <laughs> a little nerdier, almost clipping over here, but when you hear it in the song, and then here comes this section out of nowhere. And I should point out that bass guitar part, really, really pushing it. Uh, with the uh, with the WA seventy six, again, just a just an angry angry thing. This leads just to this again, this cool, just warm, creamy kind of uh, uh, guitar solo. To draw, I have to draw attention to these sweeps. These are not just your everyday normal guitar sweeps. These are full fretboard, one side to the other, all strings. Here we go. Hear that part underneath, which is so cool. And then we get into the sweeps. Just the sweeps. But again, right there, you know, just to show the uh, the layers that are in these songs, you take that cool rhythm guitar part out. It's cool, but you put it back in. That's a little bit about, you know, a little bit of what's going on in, in this song. And then, of course, the ending, you've just got John just doing what John does. So there. So that's, you know, I guess uh, I, I would say that's a, a, a good example of the extremes of this record. Um, and, and then there's, of course, there's everything, there's everything in between. We've, you know, to go back to, we've got uh, a ton of different types of heavy guitars going on. We've got bluesy guitars, we've got acoustic guitars, uh, <clears throat> we've got banjo, we've got the mando caster, which is this cool, uh, Basically, electric mandolin that Fender made for John. So obviously, it's called the Mando Caster. Um, we've got stomps, um, just, uh, just you name it. My 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 son, my seven-year-old son, is actually singing a choir on one of these songs. Um, accidentally, that's a whole other story. Uh, but um, really cool stuff. So John Five uh, and the Creatures. The album's called Invasion, and. There'll be a new single and video released every month on the first of the month until later on uh, in, the, in, in the summer and then the whole record will come out. It's really something special. There is a, uh, a, a big surprise cover song with some very special surprise guests that will all be revealed uh, later on in one of these sessions and then we'll dive into that whole process and how, um, you know, how, we came, how that came about and the killer 70s rock guitar tones we got. Um, so check it out, John Five and the Creatures. Mm -hmm.